A man living more than 60 miles away is arrested for assaulting a Brown University student. Tonight, as that student fights for his life, we're learning new information about the suspect. Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Mobilia is live in Providence with the latest developments on the story we first reported as breaking news at 6. Well, that's right. The victim remains in critical condition at this hour. Meanwhile, about an hour and a half west of here in Connecticut, his accused attacker is now behind bars. 25-year-old Tori Lucier was arrested Wednesday at his home in Vernon, Connecticut. Police say he was involved in an early Sunday morning attack in Providence that has left a college student fighting for his life. We were contacted today by the Providence, Rhode Island Police Department. Uh, they held a felony uh, assault arrest warrant for a Vernon resident. 21-year-old Joseph Sharkey, a Brown University basketball player, was injured in that attack. He remains in critical condition at Rhode Island Hospital with severe head injuries. His fellow fraternity brothers are praying for a full recovery and we're happy to hear an arrest has been made. If the guy that was brought to justice, uh, the guy that actually like, basically put him a like game permanent brain damage maybe uh, I guess we're all kind of happy about that I'm definitely glad to hear that I found someone you know it can't be for sure that it was the person because I heard there are a lot of people involved but you know definitely happy to hear that you know they're making progress police have not said if any additional arrests are expected if the victim and suspect knew each other or why Lucier was in Providence at the time of the attack Lucier is being held in Connecticut as a fugitive from justice. He's awaiting extradition back here to Rhode Island. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.